Hello everyone, my name is Mark and I am a recent graduate in bioengineering from Stanford University. I am currently an associate researcher at the Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City. My colleagues and I are designing a device called OptiCline for early infection screening in peritoneal dialysis patients. Peritonitis occurs at a rate of 0.28 episodes per patient per year worldwide and causes 16% of peritoneal dialysis or PD patient mortality. The current standard is to practice sanitary measures for infection prevention, but subjective peritonitis symptoms result in delayed treatment. This leads to peritoneal scarring, premature transition to hemodialysis, and high hospitalization costs up to 100 million US dollars per year. With earlier detection of infection, we can mitigate these consequences and improve the PD experience. So, my team and I have developed a user-tested and low-cost device called OptiCline to screen for infection in PD patients for earlier treatment intervention. It works by detecting and quantifying white blood cell concentrations in effluent fluid in real time. High white blood cell counts are a sign of infection, and the standard of care to diagnose peritonitis is to perform a cell culture and cell count of the effluent fluid. At the end of each PD session, the device will notify the patient of potential infection and recommend contacting their dialysis team for further testing if high white blood cell counts have been detected. The device easily connects in line with the standard PD setup in two steps. It contains a disposable window that connects in line between the drain line and drain bag or other collection methods, and a reusable piece that clamps over the window and does not touch the fluid. From our bench top experiments, we have confirmed that OptiCline can discern healthy baseline effluent fluid samples from simulated infected samples. We have achieved a specificity of 94% and a sensitivity of 93%. We have also been able to correctly screen clinically confirmed peritonitis positive samples. It is our hope that OptiCline will be licensed and manufactured so that it will eventually arrive at the patient's home. Whether as a standalone device for standard PD sessions, or as a device that works in tandem with other techniques and innovative technologies, such as PD-based artificial kidneys, we believe OptiCline has the potential to innovate the field and overall improve patient standard of care. Thanks so much.